Wow, my favorite spectacle, dragon cement. I'm standing in my front yard, as you can see. There's my little fence. And as you just kind of look through these trees right here, you can see dragons smokestack. And yes, there is stuff coming out, but it's a cloudy day, so you can't really see it that great. However, I wanted to get the yellow lichen that we have all over the place here within a good solid five mile radius like I mentioned on my last videotape and there it is let's get a nice close-up of it for you so you can see and apparently um, well the lights not that oh here we go nice and yellow and it thrives in um, a highly alkaline environment so I've been told by lichenologists those would be people that study lichen. Yes, whether you liken it or not. Ha! <laughs> Funny. Not really though. And you can see even across the street. Let's see if we can zoom in good on these trees. Nice and yellow. Nice and yellow. No green, mind you. Just yellow. Everywhere you look, yellow lichen for a good five miles around here. Here's even a better example. Let's go over here. Oh, this is the remnants of our snowman in the front yard. Isn't that nice? Let's see, there's yellow lichen all over my lilacs. And I didn't know what this stuff was till I looked into it, obviously. Let's see. I, uh, I'm a real nature hater. That's why I have a bird feeder in my yard. I don't like animals. I have a dog, fish, fishes in a fish tank. Yes, and the water's clean, believe it or not. Here's the, here we go over here. This cluster of trees is really nicely covered with it. Nice yellow lichen. No green, just yellow. Bright yellow. Looks like someone spray painted them with yellow spray paint. Really lovely. That one there's that's a lovely spectacle right there. Look at that yellow lichen. Highly alkaline environment. And I wonder why that is. Hmm. We'll take a look around the back here. There's another tree, this nice big oak tree back here. That's all covered with yellow lichen. There's yellow lichen on it. Zoom right in. Yellow lichen all over that tree. And there's a nice cluster of poplars back behind my residence that's covered in it. Actually, the side of my barn, too. We'll show you that in a second. Hang on. Uh, here, this is actually uh, our nice big pine tree that we have. Oh, yeah, look. Nature hater. I only have a birdhouse on my big pine tree. But you can see the, let's see, the yellow lichen that's like all over these trees. Unfortunately, it's a little dark back here. There's some. Yellow lichen. Nice and yellow. Hmm. I wonder how good the water is. According to some tests, the pH levels have been over or above or around 12, 12 and a half. Lovely. Well, anyway, proceeding to the poplars. Uh, before the poplars, anyways, there's a, this is a one of those thorny, I don't know what the heck it is, but it's got wicked thorns on it. And there's just yellow lichen all over this one, too. It's everywhere. This yellow lichen is all over the place. It's really hard to miss it because it's there's so much of it. It just stand sticks out like a sore thumb. It's just so yellow. Never knew what it was. Apparently, this lichen, um, you 
can see it on sometimes the sides of highways because of emissions from vehicles and all that good stuff. Here's, uh, here's some more of it on this apple tree back here. Nice. It's just everywhere. Look at it. Supposedly, according to what I've been told, the lichen is a really good bioindicator of what is in the environment around you. Here's another um, sample of it, but this is this is a bit more orange than the other stuff that. Where did it go? I think that's it. This is more orange looking. I guess there's a few different varieties of it. I uh, know, not so great, but they're the poplars anyways, and they're pretty much littered with it. You can see it all over the branches. Not that lichen's a bad thing, but in the winter when there's no food for the deer to eat, when they have a hard time finding food, they end up eating the lichen. Or lichen is one of their uh, one of their diets in the winter when things aren't good, and um, a lot of hunters eat the liver of the deer. So what does a liver do? A liver is a filter, just like the filter in your vehicle that filters out the dirt in your oil. So what does that do when a human consumes it? And if there's mercury in it, or lead or any other substance and there's quite a few deer that live around here in fact I see them right out here on this hill all the time and there's a little um, kind of a spring right down here where the water runs through and I've seen them drinking out of it I've tons of turkeys wild turkeys all over the place here so whatever they're eating when hunters get them and uh, they eat them, they're, um, they're eating the contaminants that those animals are taking in. That's just not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. It's really not very good. It's pretty sad if you ask me. Anyways, lovely spring day here in Maine, nice and cold, as usual. Anyways, I hope everyone has a lovely day, even those that are working over at Dragon, believe it or not. I might not like what they do, but I'm human, and they are too. And I have compassion for human beings, even those that cause stuff like this to happen, unfortunately. Maybe, maybe not entirely intentional, but obviously not, uh, not something that's admirable. Have a nice day.